Don't talk, Jackie. Okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm making a video. Alright? Alright. Just perfect silence, okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Plantar fasciitis. Get an old uh, used run down worn out flip flop something like this and uh, preferably the kind that opens up with this velcro whatever so you can open it up fully anyway the point is you're gonna take a scrub pad okay fold it over twice so you have the, about the, that width of maybe your fingers and put it in the shoe or the flip-flop you can use it in a shoe I'm sure as well you're gonna take some foam <clears throat> this is from one of those noodles and uh, cut it down the middle and put that middle strip glued inside then put your as put your pad over it and uh, try to center it where the arch of your foot would be right here that's the point you want to put it right in the center definitely in the center if it's a little forward or a little back it won't work right so put your foot in there you might have to use your toes to pull that pad back and get it centered right on the arch so when you stand up you'll be amazed how good it feels immediately and then in days following it'll get better we've tried all kinds of arch support inserts and the kind which they want you to put a boot on and bend your toes back towards the knee and sleep with that it's the night boot for plantar fasciitis which in my opinion is really just another name for uh, fallen arches of the old days so you got to support that arch those that night boot we tried that it's uncomfortable it's didn't seem to do any good we've tried those inserts the problem is they make it out of a a thin piece and they just simply bend it up and then back towards the heel but this part where they arch it up there's no support underneath it's just air so of course it flattens back down almost immediately um, we even tried this as I said with this foam but what happens as you can see is it splits and flattens so whereas this used to be like that now it's flattened like that and it just doesn't hold up but this this scrub pad has seems to have the uh, strength and the resiliency to uh, and you know I put a piece of duct tape over just to hold it in fold it over so it doesn't unfold on you see that it's just a scrubber on the outside and then some kind of a not as thick as a regular sponge material on the outside anyway I hope this helps you I know it's extremely painful and I've been going through hell for about six months with it um, the normal stuff they recommend doesn't seem to really help that much some days it seems a little better other days it's a lot worse but this seems to be working so I can almost walk normally now almost anyway good luck with this have a great day